everyone, welcome back. It's day two and I've just arrived at Gardeners World Live and the BBC Good Food Show. I'm super excited. I've also got my camera around with me today, who's just next to me, so aka my, my man, who's just taking on a camera roll today. And we're just gonna go around and hopefully speak to more of the stall holders and then Adam Frost at 12.20. So yeah, stay with us and I hope you enjoy. Nursery, which is done amazing, is it's got a gold medal. Congratulations to them, and they've got some gorgeous plants, including this Achillea um, in a gorgeous lilac beauty, it's called, but it's a gorgeous, vibrant colour. That's why I love Achillea because they're just always really vibrant and beautiful colours. And they're so easy to grow as well. We've got geraniums and campanula. Got one of them called chocolate chip, which I really like. Called lavender is a must-have for everybody, as far as I'm concerned. We've got foxgloves, loads of beautiful plants. Sweet peas. It's just beautiful, and then this absolutely stunning tree. Oh, I've just come across these, which I absolutely love. I've never seen these before, but they are stunning. So I don't know how you say the Latin name. They are called Quaint and Queer, and they are absolutely beautiful. They're so delicate. I like those. I might need to add them to my list for Sunday when I'm back again. As you all know, I'm a huge fan of trying to encourage children and youngsters to get into growing your own and gardening really early. So it's great to see that on the live theatre today, it's just about to start, is Skinny Jean Gardener taking a free school session. So it's great to so behind me, there's loads and loads of school kids and the schools have brought them here, which is, yeah, it's just fantastic to see. So I'm just going to take a glimpse and see what messaging he's sharing with the children and, yeah, getting them encouraged into it. So, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Gardener's World Live Theatre, sponsored by Wyvale Garden Centres. And now, please put your hands together and welcome your host, James Alexander Sinclair. Hello and good morning. Is it morning still? Just, just the morning. I want you to shout, cheer, yell and stand your feet for Lean Skin Jean Gardner. Thank you so much. Are we all good? Yeah. 
got you on Facebook Live. I hope that's okay. Yeah. Say hello, everyone. Uh, Carl's going all over here. Come on, let's see some waves. Yeah, okay. Well, I'm going to put this down here so you can, like, show you guys. It's very professional. There we go. <laughs> right, are we all good? I'm going to take these off. Let's relax. Come and flip flops. We'll be sunny today, but obviously not. Gardens. Who's got a garden here at their school? Yeah, and who's got a garden at home? Oh, wow! Are we all growing veg and stuff at home? Yeah, wow! You guys are so lucky being here right now. I think I went on a tour around McDonald's once, and that was the best that my school got, alright? So, together with my brother, we created a little community garden and an allotment to start a growing veg. To begin with, I thought potatoes grew above ground on a tree. Not literally on a tree. And also, thought like cauliflowers and lettuce grew underground. I had no idea about gardening until I slowly learned about it with my brother and as a community of friends. Now, 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 I want to know what you guys are growing at school. All right, have you got a little allotment? And what's going on? So look who I found, it's Skinny Jean Gardener at Gardeners World Live. Hi. Yo, what's going on? You alright? Yeah, good, thank you. How are you? Good. Do you want me to speak to you or just speak to the camera? Camera. Let's speak to the camera okay. if you can. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> How are you finding the show so far? It's good. I've had a good time. It's been, uh, it's Thursday. I've been inside missing all the sunshine, so it's been a bit mixture but it's a good show main show i can't wait to look around i'm very excited i'm gonna say the gardens are, are really good so they're definitely worth checking out if you get some time i'll take your word for it at the moment check i'll take your word them for it out so yeah i just wanted to find out a bit more about your career yes. really because obviously we all know you are as a podcast and youtube channel yeah a bit more about your background really and how you got to where you are yeah well so i've only actually been gardening for like five years which is like hardly any time at all and the first year was like full of weeding and getting rid of stuff and i started a council allotment with my brother uh, and then from there we took to social media and tried to find out how to grow stuff. So to begin with, like I say, never picked up a spade or anything like that. Um, and I thought potatoes like grew above ground and cauliflowers under I had zero experience about gardening. And then, uh, so yeah, so we took to Twitter, uh, got our mates involved coming down. Uh, instead of going to the pub, we'll come down to the allotment and get together and do that. And took to Facebook and stuff like that, asked questions. And then we got spotted by Jimmy Doggerty from Jimmy's Farm in Suffolk, which is just up the road. And he said, look guys, uh, do you want to come and check out the farm? And I've got a little patch of ground that you can do something with. It turned out to be a massive cow paddock. Like, it was a ridiculous size, full of weeds. Like, the weeds are like up here. So we spent like six months weeding our council allotment and then six months trying to weed Jimmy's allotment. So yeah, whole first year was mainly weeding. So we're absolutely experts on that. <laughs> uh, and from there we met Jamie Oliver and did bits for him, did Food Revolution, become ambassadors, ambassadors for that. And then went on to the Blue Peter allotment. So to begin with, the Blue Peter garden was moved up to Salford. Uh, where they moved it and built it all exactly the same. Uh, but they never had an allotment up there. So we come along, started the allotment, getting kids involved. And that's the main thing, getting kids involved and family involved as well and bringing it into people's homes. Um, so Blue Peter was an amazing stepping stone for that and an amazing thing to be part of. I mean, who expects to be like a Blue Peter gardener? I even have a Blue Peter badge. I was like, yes! <laughs> Everyone wants a Blue Peter badge. Yeah, exactly. Although you, apparently once you turn a certain age, you can't get into Alton Towers for free, so... Oh, that sucks. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but yeah. It's an incredible journey. Absolutely incredible journey. Yeah, it's exciting. It's, just, it's good to be, you know, it's good to have gardening as part of your life and have something you enjoy doing as a job. Yeah, so. exactly. If you can do it as a job, I think that's... For me, that would be a dream come true, so I think, yeah, I think it's definitely... Yeah, it's, it's, it's open to all of us, do you know what I mean? Like, it's, uh, it's exciting, it's exciting times. Yeah. So well, I know you're, obviously, you said you're really passionate on getting the young ones involved from a young age and bringing them up, and obviously you've got your little girl. Yep. What do you think is the secret yeah. to that? And I think a little bit down to parents as well, and them getting involved, but what do you think is the secret as well? It's getting your hands, well, look, it's getting your hands busy <laughs> at the end of the day. My, like, my daughter is two years old, and she's eats soil and eats a lot of sand <laughs> and gets her hands messy and there's nothing wrong with that she likes picking up spiders picking up worms which i'm not so keen on but happens sometimes <laughs> doesn't it 
so yeah, getting the hands messy and not being too worried about getting clothes messy is sometimes like, oh, let's, it's easy to say, oh, let's just put them with the iPad, let's put them with the, the iPhone, which does my head in, I can't yeah, handle it. I know it's easier though, I, I go to a restaurant with my daughter, instead of her going crazy, I have a little DVD player for her, but at home, get them outside, it's a sunny day, it's a nice day, no rain, get them outside, go doing a bit of gardening, have a like, little area for them, depending on how old they are, if they're, like my little daughter's got her own little section where she can do whatever she wants with, give her some plants and plant them up. Start them really young and let them own a part of the garden which they can call their own. So they can go into school, tell their friends about it and say what they're growing. Yeah, I think that's the key isn't it, is getting the parents involved and yeah, just trying to be a bit less lazy. Maybe, yeah, a little bit less yeah, lazy. I mean it's so, it's so easy that. to say, uh, like I said, let's watch the DVD and don't have to worry about washing any clothes, yeah. don't have to go for a bath or nothing, just you know. but. It's getting out there and it's getting involved in it. Yeah, you know I think trying to get as well, because you were saying you, before you didn't know where potatoes were growing from and things like that. So, And I know people I've said before about potatoes, and they went, I thought they were growing a tree. And it's just like, you're like, it. come on. It's, like, it's trying to change that mentality yes. people know from a young age. And I was, they I was appreciate it. Yeah, I was 24 before I knew this stuff. Do you know what I mean? Like, back in my day, schools didn't, it didn't happen at school. Like I said um, on one of my shows, my school had like a little dingy pond, and that was it. And yeah. we used to try and catch pond skaters. So that's, 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 right. that's as far as gardening went at our school. Now, um, the schools I've met today, and, uh, and as I go round, I've got a little allotment, and they're learning about food. Food's a big thing already in schools. Jamie always pushed that, and foods, um, tech, and stuff. So, for them to learn where to grow this stuff is really important. And schools are doing it. There's definitely schools doing it, but there's also places which are not so up to it. There's nothing out there at the moment for schools to go to, for one place to go to for teachers. It's hard, I know it's hard for teachers as well, because the resources ain't out there, so. It's just trying to find that one thing that's gonna yeah, help, really, I think. Yeah, that's it, yeah. It's just giving ideas at the end of the day. That's what I try to do. I try and have little cheap, mate, because, uh, you know, schools ain't got a lot of money, and people themselves ain't got a lot of money. So if you can have little cheap makes that they can do at home with their kids, but we don't want to spend fortunes when we go out, do we? So. No. Having something you can do at home with the kids in the garden don't cost a lot. No. And, you know, gives them an activity to do. That's perfect. Well, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Good to meet you. And where can everyone check out your pages and everything else? Uh, Skijin Garners, hashtag, I don't know, at, at Skijin Guard for the Twitter, uh, on YouTube, Skijin Gardeners, and the podcast as well, which I think you're going to be part of. Yes, absolutely. I'll be there later. Yes. Yep. Well, thank you very much, and I'll catch you.